So, I see Gix stumbled out of his library, and the preceptor crawled out of her hole. Mm. I see you're not mm. letting rationality get in the way of your ignorance, Almora. How predictable. Who are you calling ignorant, you twitchy little bookworm? Wonderful. I see we're off to a running start. The Order of Whispers needs allies, not infants. Enough bickering, all of you. Our real enemy lurks across the waves. Zaitan's servants march at the gates of Lion's Arch. We must band together, or we will all be destroyed. When I joined my order, I swore to fight Zaitan. I will die for Tyria if I must. However, I believe that together we can win. The Vigil has shown tremendous courage in the fight against the dragons. This alliance will require courage as well. Why back down now? The Order of Whispers has seen nations rise and fall. You cannot hide from this threat. You need to make a stand. And who knows more about the dragons than the Priory? Just think of how much there is to learn. Where else but in awe? By the worlds of eternal alchemy, you're bold. But you're correct. Knowledge is useless if it is not used. We shall aid you. The Order of Whispers has worked for generations to bring nations together. We can do no less now. Our blades are yours. The Vigil fears nothing, not even ill-tempered, undisciplined louts like these two. We'll join, but I insist there's a decent hierarchy. Who will lead this compact? Logic dictates that it cannot be a member of any of our orders, lest one be seen as above the other two. Quite a conundrum. I've already considered that. Trahan, you've never joined an order, yet they all respect you. You studied awe all your life. Will you lead us? I... I never wanted to be a soldier. I'm only a seeker of truth. But, yes, I will lead this pack to the gates of Ara, and together, we will see Zaitan destroyed. First, to Claw Island. Let us send our defiant message straight into the heart of Or. Tyria stands as one. All my life, I've watched Or, studied it, researched the abominations that Zaitan spawns. I have avoided the challenge of my wild hunt. I hid, always claiming I was not yet ready. I did not think all could be cleansed. I feared failure, but you're right. It is time to act. We'll either cleanse the land or return to it. is complete. Now that we're assembled, we can begin the briefing. Marshal Traherne, sir. I'm Efoot, liaison for the Vigil Troops. The Lion Guard are clearing some road, but the inner courtyard gate is blocked. My Priory Explorers brought a Biomantic Siege Capacitor, Marshal. Our top mystics have been working on it for some time. It could be useful. I've heard of that device. Whisper's agent stole a copy of the blueprints, but we couldn't figure out your bizarre telemetry. There's a working prototype? Of course. Nothing's beyond the Priory's intelligence. Unfortunately, it's a portable model, so it lacks the power to blast through a fortified gate. What if we amplified this capacitor in some way? Clever. The signal towers use magical panels to increase brightness. If we reversed the panel's direction and adjusted the enchantment, we could amplify the beam. It's improvised off the cuff and madcap, but you know, it just might work. 
Still, there are far too many undead between here and the signal tower. Leave that part to me. The Vigil may not understand your boo-boo, Matic, wheeze calculator, but we know plenty about killing undead. Then we have a plan. Commander Efoot, move out. Your Crusaders can guide the way. sell the amplification and attach the capacitor. Just keep them off. Anyone have 
have some gum? Yeah, never mind. Well done. We've secured the docks. What about the courtyard, Marshal? That big dragon thing will be on us the minute we charge in there. We need to retake the ramparts and deploy siege weapons. Then we can cover the sky while we clear the courtyard. I can help there. Priory alchemists have crafted special ammunition to weaken champions like that one. We can force that monster to the ground. Once you get it down, we'll get it dead. Put your trust in Vigil Steel. Thank <laughs> you. 
like this. Tell the herd we're ready to fight that dragon champion. Troops, wait for the dragon to come around, then make a coordinated strike. On my order! Wait for it! Watch out for the 
in so doing saved Lion's Arch as well. I do not know what lies ahead of us, my friend, but for the first time, I hope that this alliance can save Tyria from the dragons. Hope for the future. Hope for all. won this battle without you. You were spooky's agents. Pretty we we did get it. some rest. We defeated the plague. Got a lot of work ahead. Yes. Yes. What now? Are we really going to make an alliance? Things, <laughs> what was that technique you used? There's a soft You realize this pact only has a 1 in 3,720 chance of succeeding? Are you all right, Scholar? Are you injured? Well done, Crusaders! Bravely fought! Victory, for now. We will at last. Those other orders, can we trust them? This is a momentous day. The tide of history has changed, Traherne. Indeed. Many people doubted. Even the Orders weren't truly certain it could be done. Never before has Tyria been so united. Let Orr hear the echo of this battle. We can defeat the dragons. We will. Zaitan waits at the center of all, surrounded by a nation of undead. The battle to destroy the dragon will not be easy, but it can be won. There is a ruined fortress at the edge of Orr, south of the Shattercleft Hills. From that high cliff, you can see the spires of Orr rising beyond the Straits of Devastation. We will take this fort and make it our own. The Pact will rebuild it. We will place our banners, and from there we will strike at the dragon's heart. I will make plans with the leaders of the orders and gather troops at that location. You deserve some well-earned rest, my friend. Join me when you are ready, and together we will find a way to slay Zaitan. Valuable. 